Welcome back to TMZ Live. And there is a, a new show uh, that is debuting this weekend that is... I, there's no other word I can... I was trying to come up with a different word, Harp, because I don't want to sound cliche, but heartwarming uh, is really what it is. The show is called To the Rescue, and it is all about rescue dogs and their stories, and each week they're following dogs from around the world who have been rescued and showing you how their lives have changed and how their the homes that they go into are changed. I, I don't know how someone didn't come up with the show already because uh, I don't know how you can't love this. And we are thrilled to say joined by the guy who created it, the executive producer, Tommy Habib, who is a genius, a veteran TV producer, and this show, I, I, it, the idea of it I just love. So let's bring him in right now. Joining us on TMZ Live is Tommy Habib. Tommy, welcome. How are you doing? Howdy. Oh my gosh, what a setup, guys. Thank you so much. Well, now you got to live up to it, Tommy. That's the thing. <laughs> well, the show is definitely going to live up to it. Uh, There's a lot of pressure well, there, but I tell you what, it's, it's not about me. All I'm doing is documenting these amazing stories of these dogs and the people that rescue them. And I, the magic happens. No, I have to tell you, when you see a forever home, someone take a dog in mm. that maybe has never had a dog, and you see how that dog changes their lives. You think you're rescuing the dog, but what happens is the dog is rescuing you. I'm looking at this dog right now, and I'm, it's just heartbreaking that it looks like this dog had some problems, and it's obviously really thin. So people are adopting dogs that are truly at risk. Yeah, here's, here's the facts. That's Hondo. And Hondo was unadoptable. Nobody wanted to take that on. He literally had a few hours to live when we rescued and got him over to our vets. And, and then to a foster. And luckily, luckily you see this dog now. And it's, it's just so ex inspiring and heartwarming. Did he get a permanent home? Oh yes, he's living on a ranch up in Oklahoma. Oh, great. And oh, got, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, in each one of these, you know, they're like my dogs. And so I went up to see him and do a follow up. And I gotta tell you, I mean. He's healthy? Oh, he's healthy. He's perfectly fine. Uh, and you, he was in a clip there a little bit earlier, chasing a dog, you know, chasing a ball around. Uh, and then there's like this little guy in my arms. Can you see Steve? I was gonna say, Tommy, I feel like we've been rude. Like we, we haven't, uh, <laughs> we haven't met your, your friend. Well, Steele, I rescued out of a place in uh, Arkansas. He was in big trouble. He lost his mom, and then his two siblings. We took him out of this, this horrendous. Uh, shelter he was in and uh, I'm fostering him myself his two siblings did die so what I'm doing today is I'm trying to do something special so little steel we're trying to find him a forever home so if anybody out there would like to adopt steel uh, go to uh, to the rescue tv.com and you can also help I'm gonna go back to the the shelter in Arkansas and I'm gonna raise some money and we're gonna do an extreme makeover on that shelter so these dogs won't have the horrendous living conditions that they were in. Look, I'm involved in animal rescues too. And the I one know. peril here is there are people who you know love the concept of it and then all of a sudden they realize the work involved, that's an issue, right? It is an issue and that worries me. I mean, if anything keeps me up at night, that's it because they've been clearing shelters with COVID. Everybody goes, well, let's get a dog. What scares me the most is that these people are gonna go, well, I didn't realize I've got to work now. Right. And so that's the scary part. But what we try to do in so many of these rescue organizations, and Harvey, I'm so proud of you for what, you, what you've been doing as well uh, with rescue. And, uh, but what we try to do is find the right home for those dogs. Don't, put them, don't just put a dog in a place to have a dog in a place. But if you find the right one, the right match, is, is really the key. Do that homework and, and make sure that the fit is right for the first time because if somebody decides they wanna rescue or foster uh, from their forever home, um, we don't want them to get a bad taste in their mouth and get a dog that's not the right fit. You know, Tommy, I, I love the fact that we, your uh, compassion for these animals is so obvious and I, I just want people to know that this isn't just uh, a guy who makes TV shows who's, you know, got a show that I think is a, a definite hit. Um, but this is something, you walk the walk. I mean, you started your own rescue organization even before the TV show. And I, I love the fact that, um, that it's not just people are gonna watch these stories, but 
they'll have an opportunity to really help the animals when they watch the show. I think that's a great element that you brought to this. Thank you. It's so important to know that, um, uh, that anybody can do this. Just give it a try. Okay, so now we're going to plug your show. Uh, it's uh, it premieres Saturday, yeah. and it's all over the country. You, you can check your local listings on it. But oh, I just oh, I look at this dog. Yeah. Oh, congratulations on the show, and it's great because it's really going to show people how you can acclimate a dog into your home. It's great. I mean, what you're doing is fantastic. Thank you so much. This means so much to me uh, to get your support and to. You know, that was my whole thing. I have a platform. I wanted to tell it to the world. Really Thanks appreciate so it. much, Tommy. Congratulations, Tommy. Thank you so much. Oh, God, I'm so glad that dog was adopted. Taking a break. Yes, all right. Uh, when we come back, remember that Chain Smokers concert out in the Hamptons? Yep. Uh